What up YouTube, Daniel4619, coming here. All right, so I'm gonna do the YouTube Hall of Fame ballot. Um, I'm gonna throw out a couple thoughts. I mean, it's probably been said a thousand times, but so, and it's no fault of probably anybody's, I don't know. It's probably just, it's just, it is what it is, right? So, uh, the YouTube Hall of Fame is mainly baseball people. Now, if this was actually held probably like 10, 13 years ago, probably uh, more football collectors would be in there or would be the majority, actually. But this is no probably no fault of anybody's. I don't know, just... Just the people that were voting were probably mainly baseball collectors, and that's how it, whatever. It is what it is. That's all I'm going to leave with that. All right, here we go. Uh, first selected is Josh Johnson, 55. Um, Dave Archer. I mean, I know people say, why, you know, how is he not already in? Well, I don't know, maybe, I mean, it just, I don't know. It, it just is what it is, right? Um, maybe majority of the people were baseball collectors and they voted for people they watch for baseball. Um, but anyway, Amish Dave Archer still makes videos, still active in the community. <sighs> Again, I know you said this is about the channel. Uh, I mean, he still posts his videos. Uh, I actually watch his daughter play basketball on youtube i mean uh so um but like he does a lot of stuff on the irp um but again this is about the channel right so i know it's um but anyway yeah so amish dave archer josh johnson 55 Birdcat8, um, I love his point of view about things. Um, he, he's, he's a focus collector. I mean, he's real focused. I don't know. I, it seems like I've been doing this for however long and I'm still trying to get focused. Um, oh, that's probably somebody I should have added, but anyway. Um, so yeah, he, uh, he's a focus collector and with the Bart star and the green Bay Packers. And I like his view about things. I don't know. I just agree with him a lot about the way he looks at things. Um, the third one is the Broncos 79. I was actually born in 1979, so we got that in common. Uh, Steve. Um, yeah, so he's been in the community for quite some time. Um, again, I don't, I don't know how he's not in there already, but anyway, and Birdcat 8, but Again, whatever. It is what it is. Um, so, when you're talking, again, see, so he does, like, every single Tuesday night, he's on IRP on YouTube. So, like, every single Tuesday night, he's on that channel. Uh, but I know we're talking about the channel. We're not talking about the person. So, like, he still taught me so much about him and Dave. Dave Archer about uh the 90s inserts of football I mean they pretty much taught me everything I know about the 90s inserts uh 90s inserts football um up and so anyway I mean I would have if it wasn't for the Broncos 79 channel I would have never known about there was actually a glow-in-the-dark card back in the 90s so I would have never known that. 
Um, anyway, Steve's a great guy. Um, really agree with a lot of his, um, a lot of his ways of thinking. Um, so, and, and him, him and Dave Archer, they kind of like, they let you know some of their personal life. You go to those channels, you could like actually, and I know you're supposed to like keep personal things personal and how much you let out, but, and that's kind of like a slippery, slippery so, slope, uh, uh, two-edged sword, um, but, um, it really, I don't know, it gets, maybe I should do that, just, I don't know, let more of my personal life out there, not all of it, but, I don't know, get a feel for the, what's going on, uh, okay, good night, six minutes, okay, I got a football game about to start, um, because I'm Carlos is number four. See, my thing is, my problem is, I kind of have like, I don't want to say a clique, but I got a group of people. I don't know how many it is, but it's like 30 or so. And like, I just watched those channels and I don't go out. I got like a box and I need to go outside that box. And I'm about to explain that pretty soon here, but, um, anyway, uh, because I'm Carlos, uh, does a live every single Friday night, uh, I think, gosh, anyway, so, yeah, I mean, very knowledgeable about various parts of the hobby, and, uh, has a, what, Mike Madano, He's a Mike Medano super collector. I don't care what he says. He's a Mike Medano super collector. Uh, Medano su super collector. So, because I'm Carlos, go on there live. Uh, it's, I don't know. They do a lot of, they talk about, a lot about uh, hockey stuff, but there's also um, uh it also covers various other areas, so it's not all hockey. Um, okay, the next one, two, three, four. Um, this film not yet rated. So, um, I've uh, I like that he's he's real player uh, collection collector, real focused. Um, Gosh, man, see, this is so, I know we're talking about the channel, but I, I, I always think about the person. It's it's hard for me to, to divide the two because what he said on like the IRP was like uh, just so much information about how he obtained his, like I consider his number one grail and it just really got you in the moment, I, I don't know, just, um, but anyway, this film, not yet rated, I vote for him, I vote for Brad8671, uh, this is clearly not because he voted for me, again, I got a small group of people, I should expand that, that's my fault, but, um, me and Brad, we have something in common. We love Dan Marino. Uh, I was, I was, you know, raised from age four to 12 in Fort Pierce, Florida. And Dan Marino was, uh, it was talked about a lot while I was a little kid and I watched him on the boob tube and, you know, when it was really a boob tube, uh, so we got that. Um, anyway, Brad8671, like watching your videos and the way you collect. And even recently, you kind of taught me some things. I mean, I don't know. I guess you keep on learning, right? So um, about collecting and stuff. Uh, the next one is uh, Distemic. 
Yes, the Stimic. He he is uh, laser focused on Twins cards. I don't think there's anybody in the community that has more unique Twins cards than him. Um, I sent him a Just Because package, so I don't know. You could do a video or not. Actually, the Stimic, just a side note. Uh, if you're going to do a video, also show some of the, with that, just because some of the cards you got from your, um, when you went to Arizona, uh, for Christmas and you hit some card shops over there or something, uh, you could kind of combine that. Anyway, yeah, Distemic. The next one, okay, so this next one. Uh, I just started watching this guy as long as he's been on YouTube, uh, like last week. Um, and come to find out he's local. I mean, I could, if I had his address, I could drive to his house in less than two hours. Um, but it's at army ATC 22. Um, he, he is a, uh, sports card uh show dealer so he buys a table when they say a table costs so much for the saturday boom or sunday he buys it colonial heights he he gives out the location colonial heights virginia uh he sets up there and various other places uh i'm gonna i'm gonna eventually see him pretty soon here in the near future uh face to face so i'll just get to know him and uh talk to him and stuff but um and and you want to talk about honesty I, I don't know this guy from Adam and you could see in his YouTube people were he went on to another live and people were uh this is back in the day uh whatever years ago 10 12 whatever years ago um mailing him cash money in the mail and then he didn't do these live breaks. He busted on a video, showed the cards, and then uploaded it on YouTube. I mean, that's just as honest as you could get. So, uh, at Army ATC22, he pulled some crazy fire hits. The, I know everybody talks about, gosh, it's like he's haunted by this one. Uh, video with the uh logo man something stupid i don't even know what it was but uh anyway so he pulled some crazy card uh the last one is at p daz 1010 um there's a lot of things that he picks up that's, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like I got to make a list of the things he picks up because some of the things he, uh, a lot of the, the things he picks up, there's this one video where it's like 90% of the things that he picks up is like on my to-do list, like to pick up. Like, I mean, it's, it's like, wow. Like I watched that video and I was like, I got to pick up these cards. Like these are the cards that I want. Um, so anyway, kind of right up my alley. Uh, but yeah, P Daz, uh, 10, 10. So that is my vote again, you know, so my last thought is this, uh, so in the YouTube hall of fame, we got a lot of, um, baseball card collectors. Like I said, that is what it is. Um, I don't know. I watched the video. I mean, so with sports cards, there's basketball, there's base, uh, baseball, football, and there's hockey, there's soccer. Like, the thing is, do we end with sports cards? Like, we lock it in with those groups or whatever uh, and lock it in with that. I mean, because this thing could go into, I mean, when you talk about two and a half by three and a half inch, uh, if we're including everything, then that, that could go into Star Wars, that could go into Pokemon, that could go into 
non-sports cards. I mean, all that. So I don't know where the long line is drawn or whatever. But anyway, so this is my ballots. Uh, got them all in. So, all right, that's all I got. Peace out.